could hold back Kolkani, if you will. Which means I don't need both of these provinces. Arguim is probably fine since it's uh, already a Sunni province to hand over. Yeah, this seems perfectly acceptable to do to them, and it's not going to stir any votes. I mean, Timbuktu aren't happy, but Timbuktu are never happy. Glorious. And Toledo fell, which means I want you doing even more. Let's also grab that war goal. That's super important. <laughs> Tunis are gunning for it. Big problem if Tunis desire that land. They do not. So I should make it perfectly clear that... Oh, well, I already said that I do. Let's just uh, ratify that. And I want you folks all to take on the Great Leon. Truce with Timbuks 2 is over. They hate me. Uh, slight risk. Timbuk 2, Mali, and France all coalition me. Yeah, that 54 aggressive expansion right there and their 71 is a problem. I mean, I got ways around that. If I wanted to declare yet another war. Uh, but that's only going to be a problem if the coalition starts. And if it does, I slam the pause button and we go to war. I got arguing, but I'm not coring that crap. I'm giving it straight to Yolof. They deserve it more than me. They even have a core on it. That said, better not revolt on me. There are a fair few enemies up north, and Lyon is a mountainous province. Let's go a little bit calmer. I don't want to get um, too cocky about the situation. Uh, also, what happened to the Aragonese here? Either they marched over. Did they march over? Let's get a quick glance at that. Mm, there they are. They can freely march, but... Um, but... Oh God, another breach. It's a bad day to be my enemies. War goal is captured. Let's keep the momentum going. Tinnis does what Tinnis does and has revolts. The one thing I would like is if they had a revolt going on in Metidia or Aljazar, uh, because it's part of the trade node, it's part of my area, it would just fill out my borders better. But they are my best friend, and I'm not going to hold it against them. I mean, hell, I don't even like the Mamluks, and the Ottomans just uh, flipped me off, so I know who my friends are. Let's help out with that siege by blockading it. I'm not too worried about, uh, oh, well, Evidently, not too not too worried about a lot of things. I just ram into uh, into enemies and destroy them. So let's advance north, like we're playing rants, and we'll be playing rants. There we go. Now we've got a good chain going up to Lyon, and Burgos is all the more likely to fall. Okay, that's Malwa. Not not something I have to worry about just yet. But I'm sure I will in due time. Ottoman truce is up. That's something to worry about. But since I'm not expanding into the Muslim world, I highly doubt they're going to be uh, aggressively expanded. Bulking up on cannons in the early game, not good for combat, but great for sieges. Just an extra one or two ticks on sieges makes them go f so much faster. I think we've all had the times where early game we try to siege down Lisboa with uh, no cannons. And you're there forever because you can't get the naval dominance. Uh, it's on the coast. It's a capital plus a... Um, capital plus a regular fort. It's grim times. Very grim. What the hell did Malwa do? I think it's more like who did they do? And the answer is Gujarat. There are certainly going to be some fallout from the peace deal that I strike from this, but I'm just excited about that. I think our goal should be to form Al-Andalus before the end of today, and to hell with any coalition that comes our way. 
Al Andalus requires well everything you see in purple here. Oh, it does not require Valencia. Just as well I didn't make it for the war for Valencia, or did I? Sounds like something I would do. No, Alcante. So I just just need these two provinces. That's cool and all, but you know I have the claims on these. That said, Valencia 27 dev. Perhaps not a prudent idea to do that. What I should do is get a nice long truce with uh, Aragon, but they're going to hate me anyway. Might not even be for the best there. Since you have the Portuguese provinces, you don't need Valencia. Is that how it works? I've never formed uh, Al Andalus before. Uh, let's see, one of the following. You either need Shib or Jiva or Alcante or. Wait, what? So I don't need either of them. I just need Huleva, Abre. I need five provinces. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's cool. I already have the permanent claim, so, so why fight it? Whatever. This is Operation Screw the Iberians, so we should take from them everything and leave them with nothing. At the very least, I need this. Oh, that cheeses off the HRE. Oh, it cheeses them off big time. But maybe we should embrace that. Big war comes, we have to fight them for all that we're worth. I can see quite a bit of enjoyment in that. France is almost definitely going to be part of it though, and uh, the Africans will probably get involved too. But we should just... we should just have it. Is that all you found? Tell me there's some development there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to make it all the better for sending these, uh, oh, no, that just looks impassable. It's going to make it all the better for sending the Iberians to these god-awful provinces that no one can even inhabit. But in order to get a further springboard, I'm going to need to, uh, to send my colonist over there, I dare say. So your time of increasing uh, Adba, I think, is over. But you've doubled its development. It, really, you've saved me 150 um, monarch points. Ain't too shabby. Jake, maybe some, someone could have a look at the random new world at some point. I just rolled bad. Well, not even bad. It's random, right? I'm uh, I'm satisfied with a system if it's random. A militarist at the Ottoman helm, worrying, but he doesn't border me, and he does border my good friend. Uh, you hand that over. There we go. Does border my friend. Um, Mamluk. Ching, Switzerland. And, and yeah, that, that's not ideal. They're making a break for it. Okay, there's no need for me to take this land. So this whole war with Aragon was a waste of time. However, it just seems right to do something nasty to them. We could take so much land, just invite this entire coalition our way and beat them down as they come. I think that would be quite enjoyable. Why don't we just turn it up to 11? Take the whole area. Oh yeah, aggressive expansion, um, overextension is a thing. We'll be taking 45 here, but I could take so much more. I mean, I want the gold. I want this whole area, actually. But that's 90% on its own. Uh, okay, how about a subject out of uh, Aragon? Somebody to hold on to the land for me. Valencia, for example. I could uh, spit out Valencia. And tell them they don't have to get involved in my wars. So that they won't, uh, they won't tank the fight for me. Yeah, hey, that sounds pretty good. We'll take this. We'll take this, and we will take all comers. How does that sound? Probably moronic, but that's part of the fun. Double hundred war score, what could go wrong? Alright, we'll, we'll do it. It's a stupid thing to do, okay? I should not be taking uh, all this stuff. It'll get me killed. However, how can I resist? It's the ultimate counter-bully. Prepare to be bullied, nerds. 
He brought some galleys here, He's, and I have no leader, so this is not a great fight for me. But, we still win, because we're the freaking best. Wow, boy did we win. Uh, still, a bit bashed up, so let's get to home a bit. Uh, Granada will do. And I converted something, yes! Next up's Gibraltar. Cheap to do, because it's low dev. Jake, no one ever got anywhere by playing defense. Yeah, there is no defend, there is only attack, attack, and attack some more. Words to live by, words to die by. Sienna's not getting in the way of anything, are they? In fact, since they're completely occupado, they will surely peace out with me. And that boosts my war score in this war. Uh, Naples and the Knights, however. Naples, Naples? I mean, uh, I have an Italian on the team. Everyone knows Duplo. Everyone loves Duplo. And he calls the Papal State Papal State, so he must be right. Well, what about Naples? Is it Naples? This is going to be so much fun, says Bunko. I'm looking forward to it already. We'll just take all comers. If I'd known it was going to go down that way, I should have just taken all of uh, Portugal's lands, even if he was a non-co-belligerent. Just truly flip off the world. That said, I don't... Oh, uh, I do not want to have to unnecessarily deal with Timbuktu or Mali. But I don't think there's getting either of them off my back at this point. England already love me, right? Well, let's make sure that they still really love me. Them being in the coalition would make the naval fight considerably more difficult. Can you ally England? No, I can't ally anyone while I'm at war right now. But I could look at who is uh, who I could ally afterwards. Um, yes, offer alliance. Stronghai, Afali, Scotland, Kong, Desmond, Savoy, Brittany, Katsina, Benin, Genoa... Nobody here is really worth their salt as an ally. So it's it's now looking good. However, if I bum rush Miltec 12 after holding out, I will surely defeat all comers. Build heavies now to be ready. I have the money. I have the sailors. I do not really have the force limit, but I just lost a bunch of my uh, lights. So there's something to be said for that. One, two, three, four... Will take me up to 10 heavies, right? 10 heavies is a pretty good number. All comers. Right, the Great Leon is down as well. Are the Iberians hiding over here? Can't be doing with Iberians that hide. A lot of people ask me how I do what I just did there, when you um, send multiple troops running and just toggle through them. So you make a stack of units by splitting and whatever, highlight them all, and then you click somewhere that they're going to go and press V. So I want a unit here, I click there, press V, and V deselects the lowest one. Then I put somebody here, 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 there. And it's just um, right-click V, right-click V, right-click V, and then you get all this done nice. Every single time I say that, someone goes, oh, I didn't know that, that's amazing. Uh, and I figured with 550 people watching, uh, there's probably going to be at least 10 people who, uh, who have now learnt that. And it's Vidi the Otter, Tenacious Orb, Bismarck, uh, who have learnt that today. I didn't know that, that's amazing, says Jerid. Well, share the knowledge, right? It wasn't actually a thing for quite a while, but I think a year and a half, maybe two years ago, uh, this legendary programmer that we had on the project called um, Iki, we called him the Player Slayer, if you remember him from the Dev Clashes, he, uh, he put that in because he was all about uh, these kind of quality improvements for the game. Great call. Alright, finally, we can see some god-awful land. The question is... Oh, we, <laughs> this is all we can reach? This jungle garbo land and this other jungle garbo land. 
It's all bad news for us, and the dev is four or three. Ah, yes, my colonist is wait busy. Didn't I? Didn't I peel you away? Maybe I left you there because I'm a generous guy. You've done your work and you did it well. But please expand our colonial range. Now I can start sending people that I really don't like there. But I'm only interested in shoving away the Portuguese and the Castilians. So are there any that are available to do that right now? No, they're probably all... Um, they probably still have um, a bunch of things that stop that. Separatism being the main thing. I can't wait to shove them out of Lisboa. But there'll be some preparation for that. How's Eastern Europe looking? It's looking pretty local noble, isn't it? Muscovy's on a rampage, as they almost always are. Denmark integrated Sweden! Holy moly! Uh, we could well be seeing Scandinavia on the map. That's highly impressive from the Danes. If we have any Dane lovers out there, congrats to you. I have to say that I hate the Danes, because otherwise the Swedish Gestapo will come knocking on the door and start um, start shoving all things lag on down my throat, but know that you have allies here. What about the Mali man minority to clear out your gold? I've already converted them, I'm not too worried about their culture as well, it's no big deal. Corruption and money, money and more money, I don't like the sound of that, I don't like the sound of... Uh, of losing battles here. What's going on? It's going to cost a bit of dosh for a while, won't it? Uh, the Aragonese have arrived. We'll be ready for them. There's not much of a job for you to do, so head on back. And... Yeah, they, they just cannot compete. However, if I truly want all this land, I'm going to need to push them a bit more. That means taking these two forts. So my mission is to take this, and to take this, and then to restore Al-Andalus. It's all looking good for me, on those ones at least, and then I can seize the trade dominance as well. But to form Al-Andalus, don't I need them as core? Yeah, I need cores on those provinces. It's going to take a bit of time, and a fair bit of admin, so let's keep that banked up. Also, you there. There must be something you can explore. Baltic, North Atlantic, South Atlantic. I don't know what this Salinton Sea is. I also don't know if you could do some of this coastline for me. I would quite enjoy that. As a Dane, I take great offense in your statement, but I'm also aware of the Swedish Gestapo, or as they're called, the IKEA police. Well, Steve Ender, I think we can see eye to eye on a thing or two there. I'm going to help our friends out here, and bare minimum is going to lead the charge to bring that fort down as quickly as possible. And I want you to... Uh, well, just do what you can. All right, Castile, there, you have no business trying to block this. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that Bitter Craven is away on duty. However, I'm quite certain I have everything I need to knock down what's left of the Castilian fleet without any problems. Yeah, your uh, your transports try to run and hide. Ah. I turn to you, chat, because you tend to be my good um, my good barometer here for morals. Should we burn these colonies down to ashes? It just seems like the right thing to do, but uh, what do I know? I could take them for myself, but that doesn't seem quite as right as burning them. I see Super Ninja saying, burn, baby, burn, so uh, I think we know what to do. Dispatch a four stack, and I need uh, four units for it as well, but I can I can send some of those away. It'd be nice if I had just mercs doing this so that I could dismiss them later on. So let's see, yeah, I get our mercs down to Mercia. You folks also grab them at Mercia. You could do with a... I'll send you out there just to um, escort them, really. I wouldn't want them to be burnt down. I think chat's moral barometer is reaching burning point long ago, says Naffle. That's not important. What's important is that my morals are relatively okay. If that's relative to yours, that's fine by me. Now, let's make this a bit more... Uh 
bit more efficient. We'll pre-split them, get over there, and prepare to burn. There'll be a problem if they have troops there already, uh, which is possible. No, it's not, because they, they, don't, they haven't built the province. What would Rance do, Jake? What wouldn't Rance do? Also, I forgot, we really need the Grand Canaria for ourselves. Which means this land is 97% overextension and 100% correct for us to take. It's getting a bit tough to do everything with you, probably because of Napoli's involvement. And that's unpleasant to me, because I want everything I can get out of you. Worldly Alema. That sounds like dosh to me. Oh wait, I already gained... Yeah, screw it. Nothing to fear. And uh, this does sound excellent. For arguing. Ah, no thanks. Keep it legal. Mmm. Keep it legal. It's all looking good. Got to resist the temptation to spend all of that... Um, all of that admin. If the natives return, kill them. Yes. It's a game and I really see eye to eye sometimes. They almost think we were intimately acquainted. Another awful island. <laughs> well, at least one of them is temperate, but it's still just three development. Japan will have aggressive expansion uh, on you after the war. That's the point, right? This is the ultimate revenge for us. We're taking back everything we're owed. And we will take nothing less. The real problem will be if the Ottomans declare war on the Mamluks during all this. It's quite likely they will. Alright, another one scratches... Uh, scratch another bogey for Aragon. I almost have everything I need to take... Uh, everything I want. From you. Aragon, however. Oh yeah, it's because I'm demanding all their bloody money. But I want all their bloody money. Let's keep the rampage going. The problem is, from our point of view, they still have an army. And they don't deserve that army. Get rid of Barcelona, get rid of Tarragona, and continue the uh, relentless assault. Go to Targel, although it's a risk. Steel are no longer considered a great power, as if they ever were. I think I'll do taxation policy after I spit out Valencia, because I want to see how they're looking. Because I can, ooh, I will want that. But again, after Valencia. We'll see if we can remember by then. It'd suck if I was declared war upon right now, because I wouldn't be able to, uh, to do such nasty things. Okay, well, we found the Castilian heavy fleet. And we found their f their colonies almost complete. But the funny thing about almost complete is that they're not complete. There we go. Hard to even find that island. Still the burning ruins of Sao Tome. How we do this? Yeah, you get over to my Girona. You folks all get over to Rusalon. There used to be more mountainous provinces here. I mean, this is the ultimate province to have to guard the entry. Well, no, you need both of them now. I forgot that we made Navarra landlocked for the ultimate challenge, but really, they were landlocked at the time. How many guns are you bringing, Jake? Are you shooting down all the heart? Well, not really a lot on guns. We're working on that. Muslim musketeers will come by the next tech. Uh, there'll be a lot of coalitioning to fear. Okay, the Ottomans are doing me a great favor by taking on the Zaprosies instead of... Uh... Oh, and that includes Great Horde. They should be dug into that for a wee while. This is going to be so much aggressive expansion, it's going to be stupid. But that's the point. What does burning a colony achieve in-game? I'm glad you asked that, Jer... Uh... Jezred? I'm... I'd like to apologize, but your name is difficult for me. How about we call you Red? So, here are their... Hang on, hold that thought. We just managed to explore what's up here. Is I quite like it when it's attached to the uh, endpoint like this. I played a mod that had some really nice random New World stuff going on. 
However, that only matters to me so much if any of it is worth having, and it looks almost not, but this doesn't look too shabby. Also, I've already colonized this, so let's actually have our units defending it. If they rise up and burn it down, I'll be a sad man. And we'll have you continue to explore. I don't know what a Salinton Sea is, but you do, and that's good. So, burning down a province. These are provinces that Castile are colonizing. Once this builds up, it'll be a full province. I'd have to annex it, uh, or otherwise kick it out of them if I wanted it not to be Castilian anymore. However, since they are still colonies, they're not up and running, fully fledged uh, cities yet. So, <laughs> uh, chalk a second one on the belt there. Now that I've occupied their colonies, I could seize the colony and make it my own. Uh, we'd have all these people, so it would continue to grow like uh, one of my colonies, which can be pretty good. However, maybe I don't want to do that, because whilst it would be good for me to have this land, I'm not interested in blobbing in this campaign. If I burn it down, it costs me 5 mil, but the province is gone, right? They'd have to recolonize it from scratch. I kill every one of their settlers. 706 people versus uh, 1,800 armed and angry moors. Burn, baby, burn. So they burn down, we get back on the boat, and... Um, yeah, Castilian... Um, Castilian desires for exploration and colonization. Down the tube. Oh, and those three heavies of theirs? Uh, actually... Uh, some survived. Their morale is shot, so they want to run away as quickly as possible. The knights are invading me, which is a bit of a pain, but they probably don't want peace anytime soon. Yeah, certainly not. Oh, wow. Ferrara's gunning down the, the Pope. So yeah, with Castile being ravaged like this, I should be able to get my peace deal quite soon. I can almost certainly do Aragon. Once I can do both, it's game, set, and match. But yeah, Neapolitan involvement is a bit of a problem for the Castilian peace deal. That's what's the that's the main thing that's stopping me from uh, brutalizing them right now. How's the Reformation going? We're asked. Well, pictures speak louder than words, right? <laughs> As was well known, Protestantism is heavily entrenched in uh, in Italy. Reformed up in Scotland, who would have thought? And, you know, rigidly Catholic Scandinavia. They'd never think to turn their back on Christ. Italy has gone mad, says Holden McGroin. Hey, they decided to cross me. This is what they get. There's just deserts. Our boat's fairly got hammered at sea there, but it's okay. Uh, they're deciding to take over Tenerife, are they? Hardly a game changer. the Neapolitan transports wish to fight us, but unfortunately for them, they die, and we do not. Oh, Joloff was able to kill the, um, the Neapolitans that arrived in Africa. That is why I'm keeping a march around down here. Get you guys back with this. I could probably retract some units. Nobody has the army to take on my, uh, my armies here. If I get you back down and crush all the Spaniards, then we'll be even happier. I'll have you guys ready for it. Where did I send you to? Yeah, makes sense to me. Treason against Granada. Uh, I don't really care about professionalism right now, but I did build up a little bit of it. The Emirs would be unhappy, but that's okay. Also, it's 33. Where's my money? I'll grant you a new world charter. But where's my money? Thank you. Ah, oh, just seeing this makes me happy. Right. It, it was it was touch and go for this campaign when the Iberians decided that uh, me living was not part of their plan. But things have rapidly improved since then. I don't have any dry docks uh, around here. 
you know, fixing up my ships and all that. I guess not. 